Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am Jose, and in today's video, we are doing another vlog, and this is going to be a full-packed vlog because, child, I'm booked and busy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I am, though, but... Okay, so let's get into what we have planned for today. So first thing on the list is I need to walk Milo because he needs to get walked so that way he doesn't bother me while I'm shooting content. Um, the next thing is I actually have a, a call at 9.30, so I need to make sure that I, I'm i pretty much dressed, at least decently. <laughs> like, my hair needs to be picked out. Um, I need to at least moisturize my face, put on a decent shirt, um, and I have that call. The next thing that I have after that is I need to shoot content. So, the content that I want to shoot today um, is for brands, so I need to shoot a reel, and then I also need to shoot um, pictures. I'm hoping that if I can get the pictures done and they like look good, I'm hoping that I can try to make a reel out of it as well. Let's just hope and pray that that's possible. If not, they didn't ask for a reel, but I wanna do a reel. So what they asked for is pictures, so I'm gonna do what they have asked for um, and what we agreed upon. So I'll be doing that, and that's for another brand. So basically I'm shooting two things for a brand. I also wanna try to get at least a TikTok video done today, whether it's just something random, not really rehearsed or like planned. I'm just trying to get back into the algorithm of TikTok and being consistent and posting like frequently. Um, and then lastly, that I know of, <laughs> is I need to, uh, oh, and I'm hopping on a call with um, one of my friends, Taylor, and she's like, I met her through social media, and we're gonna hop on, hop on a call because I'm actually going to be, um, going, I'm actually gonna be going down to visit her, um, me and Milo, so we need to like, we're gonna try to plan everything out um, because I'm gonna be down there for a good minute, so, I don't know, it's just like we wanna make sure we have all of our plans and stuff set together. Um, and we're gonna go walk Milo and then we're gonna come back and get straight to work. So let's go ahead and get this day started. I'm excited, I haven't done one of these like kind of days in a long time and I don't know, it makes me feel motivated and inspired and like productive. Cause you guys can be productive with me if you guys are trying to shoot content today. So I don't know, I'm really excited. So let's get this day started. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I just got back, um, well, kind of a little while ago, but I'm currently wearing this. This is what I'm wearing, and, um, I ended up just getting dressed and stuff after I got back from walking Milo. Also made some more tea. So now here's the thing. I when I was on my walk, I tend to like go on my phone, write down notes, anything that I can think of for um, what I have planned for today. So I ended up finding a song that I think will work perfect for one of the reels that I want to do today. So um, I am actually going to shoot that B-roll right now and try and get it done. I'm probably gonna shoot the B-roll off camera and then that way, once I'm done with my meeting at 9.30, I can clear out my phone so I can show you guys some of the behind the scenes of like how I get my footage and my posing and things like that. But before we officially get started with this video and all the things I have to do today. I want to thank Urban Outfitters and Magic Links for partnering with me in this next section of the video. Y'all, I am so pumped because this is a huge try on haul and I feel like a lot of the pieces that I got, you guys would love. Um, and I'm, baby, I'm adding more color into my wardrobe. So let's go ahead and get into it. This portion of the video is in collaboration with Urban Outfitters. I am so excited to be doing a try on haul with you guys. I haven't shopped at Urban Outfitters in a very long time, so this is really like an amazing opportunity. Um, also, I will have all my magic links linked down below as far as each item that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. I'm really excited because I feel like you guys are gonna like a lot of the pieces that I picked out. It's definitely giving summer vibes. 
I'm adding more color into my wardrobe now that it is summertime and I feel like, I don't know, this summer I'm really just leaning more towards color again. Um, so I'm really excited to be adding those pieces back into my wardrobe. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this Urban Outfitters try on haul. So the first piece that I am coming with you guys with is this Subline graphic t-shirt dress. And it is very distressed and I love how it has holes in it. It's a very baggy. Um, I really like this shirt. I picked out this shirt because I felt like green is in right now and I just felt like why not have a green t-shirt dress that I could wear um, by itself. I can wear it with biker shorts, jeans. I mean, it's really a vibe. I love oversized t-shirts, so that's why I decided that I was gonna go ahead and pick out this one. Honey Cash t-shirt dress, and I had to pick this out because of the colors. Honestly, the colors is what really got me, and then also just the, the graphics on here. Um, it is like a nice, I don't know, like that bone color, and I don't know, I just really gravitated to this shirt a lot, and plus, like, I think the main thing for me is that I don't have t-shirt dresses and oversized t-shirts. I maybe have, like, one, but I don't wear that one as much. The goal was to add in just a couple of t-shirt dresses into my wardrobe, so I went ahead and chose this one. So next up is this really fun okay taking it all the way back though remember when we used to all wear overalls those are coming back again and i'm really feeling that vibe this is the harley linen backless overall and i am in love okay i really had to pick this out because i was like this is a must and i love that it's linen first of all i love that it is black and i don't know like it just is a cute cute overall like i don't know what else to tell y'all but i love the fact that with overalls you can wear them different ways and then too this one has pockets which i love um because one thing about overalls you gotta have pockets in your overalls it's a must in an overall and i just love how it's backless and i love how you can tie it at the top of your shoulders i think that's so flattering i love that it has a tan stitching i think it just adds so much to the overall okay next up we have a pair of jeans that i'm really excited about because these are so cute like i kid you guys not the vibe of these a1 this is the bdg rouge v front flare jeans and when i tell you guys <laughs> these are a vibe i mean you can see already in the front and I love how it is low. It has that V front. I have no jeans this color. I do not have flared jeans. I think these will look flattering on everyone. Okay, so next up is this really flattering top that I'm so excited to show you guys because this is the, this is the Francisca open back crop top. And I love the front of this crop top. It, I think it's very cute and I just love how it's just not like a simple um, like v-neck but I love how it's very detailed in just the shape of the crop top and then I love the back part as well how it's the open back in the back this is the Francisca top you guys have to get this one this one is really flattering and very cute <laughs> this next piece I'm, I'm sure you guys have all seen this top and I don't know, but I've seen these kind of tops before and I was like, dang, I need this top, I need this top. <sighs> and I'm sure, I don't know if you guys have this, but this right here is a must, a must have, and they have a variety of colors that you can choose from. Out from under, Haley Seamless Plunging Bra Top. And I got this in pink. So flattering, you guys, I'm not joking. The V, the low V in the front is just chef's kiss. It's so many ways you can style this top, but I'm telling you guys, you gotta have this in your closet. This next piece is the Rumba Seamless One Shoulder Bra Top. And this one is flattering too. Like, I don't know, like, I love crop tops and I think that's something that I will always have in my closet. I am a bralette crop top type of 
girl. This would be a piece that I would wear often that I could usually wear out for brunch, dinner, cause like I can literally dress it up and dress it down. Okay, so this next piece, I am so, this piece is so cute. This color goes well with my skin tone and this is the Out From Under Cozy Up Seamless Convertible Bra Top. And I got this in the color, I got this in turquoise because I just felt like this would be a really cute color to add into my collection. I do not have a crop top this color <laughs> in my closet, so I thought that it would be really good to have this color in my closet. Okay, so this next piece, I got this in black. This is the Out From Under Riptide Seamless Ribbed Bralette. And you guys, like I already said, the, the bralettes are for me, okay? But no, I really seriously love this one. It's very, the material is very thick. Um, there is a stretch to it as well. And if you are a girl that loves that like ribbed type of material and that look, then this is something that I feel like you should purchase. Perfect basic top to have. Next up is this super nice olive color crop top. And this is the Out From Under Jackie Seamless Halter Bra Top, you guys. And I love the halter look. And I feel like it is nice to have have different type of crop tops in your closet. Some that are halter tops, some that are not. And I just like to diverse my closet with different types of crop tops and bralettes. I feel like this was the perfect bra top to get. And this one is stretchy as well. Material is great, very soft on the skin as well. Perfect color I add into my closet because I don't have a olive colored crop top either. So. I think this is perfect and I think it goes well against my skin tone. Okay, so this next piece, I got this one in black and this was really cute as well. Like, I don't know, I'm just finding, Urban, you are coming through with the crop tops this summer, baby. This is the Out From Under Mambo Seamless Twist Bra Top. And I love that that has the detailing in the front, which is where it does have the twist and you can, it allows you to tighten it in the front, which I love that. So like if you are a little bit more heavier up top, you can adjust it and I love that. And next up we are adding in some white, you guys, another white. Um, I am not a like white crop top type of girl, but I think it's best to have at least like the basic colors in your closet. This is the Out From Under Sophia Seamless High Neck Bra Top. And I think this fit is very flattering. It's giving very much model off duty vibes. Like I was imagining like this top with like a cute little high bun or even like a back bun, a low bun. You guys see the vision, you know what I'm saying? Like this is just a really cute top. This is the Out From Under Paloma Seamless Triangle Bralette. And you guys, this top is super fire. Um, I just love the front details for Arlette. And I love too as well that you can adjust the back because I was a little bit worried when I first got it. I was like, this looks actually really small. And I was like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit this right. But I love that you can adjust it in the back as well. And I just think this is a really cute flattering top and I feel like this is just something that I could wear um, at the house. I can even wear it with just like an, a cute little outfit but I love that there is stretch as well and I just think the detailing just makes this bralette really stand out. All right guys, so moving on to the next item that I got off the website which I'm really excited to share with you guys because it brings me back to the days when I used to actually wear, <laughs> wear these sandals so let me show you guys. These are the Steve Madden Pepe 30 platform sandals. And you guys, let's just think about back in the day, I used to wear sandals like this as a little girl, but obviously not as, um, as big, like the platform wasn't as uh, tall, but these are so cute. They are in right now. And I feel like these are just so cute. And I got these in black. They do have one, I think in beige or tan that I was like, okay, I think I might get another color, <laughs> a different look. So I just feel like this is the perfect sandal to have in my closet right now. And they're black, they go with everything. Thank the Lord. So this next portion is going to be me trying on sunglasses. I really don't have much to say because I want the glasses to speak for themselves. The glasses on the Urban website, babe, baby. 
I don't know, Urban Outfitters, you're 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 doing it, okay? Urban Outfitters has been really coming in clutch with their styles, their pieces, glasses, accessories, shoes. I mean, you name it. They have some really fire stuff on the site. So I wanted to kind of spice up my sunglass collection because I've been wearing the same sunglasses over and over and I'm like, okay, I need something new and fresh. So I went on the website and went ham on the sunglasses and I want to show you guys all the sunglasses that I got. So this portion is just going to be me showing you how they look on and the style of them. And so other than that, let's get into the sunglass try on haul. <laughs> Well, you guys, that completes the Urban Outfitters try on haul. I will, I'm so happy that I was able to share with you guys the pieces that I got, and I will make sure to have everything linked plus my sizing down in the description box below so that you guys can know. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this portion of the video. And thank you again to Urban Outfitters and Magic Links for this amazing collab. And let's get back into the vlog. Okay, you guys, so I'm actually officially about to get on a call um, at 9.30. It's 9.27. So I was able to get um, the B-roll done. And some of the B-roll just didn't come out how I wanted it to. Um, but we're going to improvise. So sometimes I feel like I could be overdoing it. And sometimes like you don't even need all these like extra clips. And I'm just going to try to, I'm just going to try to go with what I already have that I filmed that I think was good. And then... I just got to film now me like putting the product on my face and all of that. So, but we're not going to do that until after I get off this meeting. That you can start. So before we start, what questions do you have? All right, you guys so I just got into my room and I just filmed like a little portion of what I was doing if you guys want to see the whole video please make sure you guys are following me on Instagram because all of my content is usually on there I want this out by 12 it's 11 25 that means 30 minutes which is really good because I meet up with um, my friend at 12 we're gonna be getting on FaceTime to talk about our trip and stuff so that's why I wanted to make sure I'm getting everything done so that I can shoot the content edit it get it done and then I can get on the phone with her for a while then I can go in and finish up the rest of my work but we actually are still working for somebody if you think about it because if you're if you're if if instagram were to dip out right now i'm the one that that basically makes the calls you know so much that um i feel like it's changed so much that it's just it's kind of scary and that's that's what you want okay you guys so i ended up shooting the content um for this but i think i'm gonna reshoot again tomorrow and then i'm just going to pick out which 
one I like the best because I feel like I didn't really like these that much and I feel like I could probably do better. So I think I'm gonna hold on to these photos and then I'm gonna try to reshoot tomorrow and just go from there. So right now I'm actually going to clean up because I need to clean up and then I also need to get back on the computer and finish editing. Um, so it's just a lot that I have to do and I don't know, I feel like this vlog has been somewhat productive, but not productive, but very realistic. Because some days it's kind of like this and I have everything planned and then <laughs> some stuff I'm just not even able to do. So it is what it is, but we're going to clean up and yeah. So, uh, <laughs> basically completes today because all I'm gonna do now is get on my computer and edit my life away <laughs> um, because I obviously have stuff that that is due um, things that I already recorded this week I need to edit that um, so that's kind of pretty much how my days go but I think this day was kind of interesting just because I really thought I was gonna get every little thing done but I didn't but I think the fact that I at least got something done is progress. And if you did one thing, that's what really matters. So that's how I feel right now. Um, I am a little tired, it is a little hot, but for the most part, I am excited for the rest of the week. Um, and tomorrow I'm gonna bring the same energy and I'm gonna try my hardest to, uh, I'm gonna try my hardest to um, complete all the tasks for tomorrow. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget you guys to check the links down below for everything that I mentioned in this video. And also follow me on my social medias on Instagram, TikTok. Um, also follow me on Pinterest as well. Other than that, I love you guys so much and I'll catch you in my next video.